you're serious about home theater or have been researching equipment, then you've probably heard the name Trinov once or twice. And if you haven't, then this video is about one of their most innovative products and how it's changing surround sound processing forever. Stick around. Perfect. Hey guys, it's the Villaman here, home theater enthusiast and lover of all things tech. And today we're not talking about an AV receiver that you might be used to hearing about, but instead a preamp processor, pre-pro or processor as they are more commonly known. And the processor we're talking about specifically is the Trinov Altitude that I got from the folks over at Value Electronics. Now there's also the Altitude 32, but the one we have right here is the Trinov Altitude 16. And what makes the Altitude special and why it's changing the surround sound game is because unlike traditional AV receivers or processors, which are made with fixed function chips specifically designed to satisfy Dolby Atmos or DTSX decoding specifications. No, unlike these traditional processors, the Trinov is based on a PC architecture. And in the case of the Altitude 16, an Intel PC with an i3 CPU. Its bigger brother, the Altitude 32, is based on an even more powerful i7 CPU. Let's see what you get with the Altitude 16. It comes double boxed and in there you'll find the 3D mic which costs extra, along with the custom 5-pin microphone cable and mic attachments. power cables, bedtime reading material, the remote which is a bit underwhelming, rack ear surmounting the unit in your AV rack, and the microphone cradle. On the back you'll see the 8 HDMI 2.0 inputs and 2 outputs, 16 XLR speaker outputs and the PCIO ports, along with the optical outputs and all of 4 12V trigger and 1 12V trigger in. So what does using a CPU enable that a fixed function chip can't do? Well, a fixed function chip is exactly as the name suggests. It's a chip designed specifically by a company such as Texas Instruments, Analog Devices, or even Qualcomm, which sits in your processor or receiver to decode the Dolby Atmos audio signal from a source such as a Blu-ray player or a streaming box like the Apple TV 4K, using their implementation of the Dolby Atmos decoding logic. Now, this has one important benefit and one drawback. The biggest benefit is the cost of these chips can be relatively low since they can be mass produced and sold to different AV manufacturers like Denon, Arcam, Samsung, Audio Control, basically any company that makes Dolby Atmos capable audio equipment. The drawback is that because these are fixed function chips, they won't necessarily be able to adapt to changes in the feature set over time or add new codecs like adding DTSX Pro, for example, to a processor that was made in 2015. That's where the programmability of the Altitude as a result of its PC-based platform comes in to make it very different. First is the fact that the Adobe Atmos code logic is Unix-based, so instead of using a fixed function chip which approximates how the audio signal should be decoded, the Trinov can run the logic natively, so there's nothing lost in translation. The programmability also helps with another key aspect and that's with the acoustic management which includes room setup and speaker placement and calibration. The second benefit is the modularity of the platform where parts of it can be upgraded as technology progresses over time, future-proofing it. Using the 3D microphone and the 4 mic array that makes it up, the Trinov is able to map out exactly where your speakers are located in 3D space by playing a test tone and calculating how long it takes to get to each of the 4 mics. So then it's able to determine your speaker's exact location within 2 degrees of placement in any direction and 1 centimeter of distance, which is extremely accurate. It measures group delay, phase response, and 
amplitude of every speaker and using the information the Trinov is able to determine the acoustics of your room in general and the capabilities of your speakers specifically. And then it performs what I think is its greatest magic trick and that's the 3D remapping of your speakers. So basically the altitude is able to reconcile the difference between where your speakers ideally should be and where they actually are located based on the sound format that the content you're listening to uses. Whether it be Dolby Atmos or DTSX or Oro 3D because each have somewhat of a different speaker layout. This is in contrast to what a traditional receiver or processor which needs you to place your speaker in specific locations and is only able to determine the distance from the main listening position when the calibration is being done. If your speakers aren't optimally located based on the Dolby spec for any reason, for example, then the resulting surround sound and overall experience won't be as good as it could be and can result in sound being more distracting than immersive. No, the Trinov is able to combine the output of multiple speakers to place the sound where it should be, even if there isn't a speaker located in that specific location. In fact, the platform is so flexible that in 2022, they released an update to add four more channels for a maximum of 20 channels of processing on the Altitude 16 by simply adding an external DAC, which is pretty cool. It has a web interface which enables you to do everything from changing the volume to calibrating your speakers to selecting inputs or which performance presets you'd like to use. And the performance presets is where I've had the most fun so far and how I plan to make my speakers really sweat. After calibration, you're able to create your own target curve, which just dictates how you'd like your speakers to perform throughout the frequency range in your space. So the target curve that I created for my room rolls off the highest frequencies because those can be the harshest on the ears, but also has a big boost below 100 Hertz, which is the mid bass and sub bass regions. And the sound is actually insane. Action movies like the race scene in Ready Player One, which is one of my reference scenes, are intense to the point that they're almost violent in the most incredible way. The first time I played that scene after calibration was no joke, like hearing it for the first time. It's not hyperbole to say that I didn't know my system could sound that good, and truth be told, I was a little worried I was going to blow a fuse or something. It just sounded so intense. I loved it. And it's going to be a great way to test speakers I'm reviewing going forward as well, starting with these Arendelle Sound 1961 speakers and the 1V subwoofer. All this performance comes at a price though. Not only do you need external amplification since it's a processor, but at $18,000 retail for the Altitude 16 and about twice as much for its bigger brother, the Altitude 32, with its 32 channels of processing that's expandable to 48 channels. That said, it's so modular, it can be upgraded as technology changes, so you won't necessarily need to buy a new one every few years to keep up with technology as you would have with other other traditional processors. So for example, the HDMI 2.0 board inside can be swapped out for an HDMI 2.1 version if you need it. There's a lot more that goes into this processor because you can customize pretty much every aspect of it. And short of an hour long video, I don't think I could go into all of it. And even then there's still so much I've yet to learn about, but even with my limited knowledge of the Altitude OS and what I've been able to learn from the book sized manual, I was able to create an experience unlike any other I've had before in this room. And if you'd like to find out more about it or get one of these bad boys for yourself, then give the folks over at Value Electronics a visit or a call. That's where I got it and I left a link in the description that you can check out for yourself. Let me know in the comments what AV receiver or processor you're using and what you think of the Altitude platform. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and thanks for watching. Until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood villa man saying be safe and peace.